Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's Windows 10 tutorial is going to cover how to make desktop shortcuts to internet websites using three of the major browsers, which are Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. I've done another tutorial covering the Edge browser, and with these three browsers, uh, we're going to go over a quick way to drag and drop to make desktop shortcuts and a little bit about the different behavior you'll experience between the three. Now to start out with, uh, we'll be doing it with Amazon.com on all three browsers. So first up is Internet Explorer and if you're not sure where to find it in Windows 10 just start typing in Internet in your start bar and you'll find Internet Explorer right there. Now once you've got it pulled up, go to whatever website you want to create a desktop shortcut to and in this case we're going to Amazon so once I've got it pulled up to the page I'd like whether it be my account the main Amazon page or whatever website you're on there's a little area to the left of your address bar let me make this a little bit larger for you where you'll either see a lock some kind of symbol or an icon in this case we've got the Amazon logo so what we want to do is left click and drag and drop that icon off to your desktop. It's called a favicon. Now what they'll do is they'll make you a direct link to it on your desktop. So you can double click it. And I want you to notice in this case I actually have Google Chrome set as my default browser. And you're going to see a little bit of different behavior when you create desktop shortcuts like this. In this case with Internet Explorer it actually created a link to the website which opens up in Internet Explorer which is currently not my default browser. Now the relevance to that is if you use multiple browsers you will see a little bit different behavior. Now if I go to Google Chrome I can do the same thing. In this case it's going to be the little lock symbol here. It's not shown the favicon. So we left click drag it off to the desktop and now if we double click on it it opens it in Chrome sounds simple right now if we go to Mozilla Firefox is where it gets a little tricky okay Firefox and Internet Explorer neither one are set as my default browsers but if I do the same exact set of commands here left click on the icon or the lock to the left of the address bar and click and drag. Now on this one if I were to double click on it, it opened it up back in Google Chrome which is my default browser. So the different browsers you use will have different behaviors when creating desktop shortcuts to websites. Now the process is basically the same for all three as you saw but another little tweak that not too many people know about is let's say we're on our Amazon page any link that you can click on on a website can also be drug and drop onto the desktop so we'll make this a little larger and let's say I wanted my wish list to have a direct desktop link well rather than clicking onto it and then going back up here and dragging that off I can just go ahead and left click on this and drag it off to my desktop. And now I've got a direct link to it. The warning you saw was just making sure I did want to copy it over. But we can do that with any one of these. If we wanted to click on this one that was for help. Left click and hold. Drag and drop. Hit OK if it asks you if you want to allow it. And you can do that for any subcategory or you can go up here just for the general website page that you're on to drag and drop. And like I said, just be a little leery if you use multiple browsers that like Firefox created a link to a website but it opened up in the default browser. So easiest way is to have your default browser set to whatever you use most often. And if you have if you use something like Firefox or Chrome like I do and occasionally you have to use Internet Explorer just uh, copy and paste it into that browser rather than getting your cache fi uh, 
filled up on all your browsers and all your histories try to use one main browser create your desktop shortcuts if you'd like them off of there but for the most part I recommend using your bookmark bars from whichever browser it is that way you can have synchronized passwords across multiple platforms but for those of you who have been asking that is how you make desktop shortcuts to websites so if you have any other questions hit me up in the comments and if you have any ideas go ahead and shoot me a line and thanks for watching